Economists lowering their expectations for employment and economic growth for the first quarter of 2019, according to a new Wall Street Journal survey. Forecasters say the U.S. economy economic output will grow on average at a pace of only 1.3 percent. Now, this is a sharp decline from the 2 percent growth predicted just last month. The question then, of course, is why is the U.S. economy perhaps or allegedly slowing down? Let's bring in the Wall Street Journal's global <laughs> economics editor, John Hilsenrath. Of course, John, you know, if this dovetails with what we're seeing from the New York Fed today, what we've seen from the Atlanta Fed and others, that uh, the first quarter is going to be rough. It's just like yeah. earnings are going to be down a lot. But then we see the JOLTS report and we see other things. How do we, how do we, how do, how do we get all of these different data points to, to work? Well, I mean, I think, you know, what happens uh, is you know, w when the economy is slowing down, you can see turbulence in the economy and in the data. And we're seeing a lot of turbulence in the data right now. So today was a great example of it. On the one hand, uh, the Federal Reserve reported that, in, that manufacturing output from the industrial production report fell for the second straight month. That looks bad. On the other hand, we saw consumer sentiment numbers from the University of Michigan pop back up after falling the month, the month before, so that looks good. I, I think, you know, what we're seeing is rather than all the data lining up in a positive way or a negative way, we're seeing a mix. And, you know, it seems to be consistent with this slowdown story that a lot of economists are talking to us about. Yeah, you know, uh, slowing down is not a bad thing after a year that we had last year. We'll see it when the fourth quarter is revised. Perhaps we hit 3 percent. Certainly year over year, we were at 3.1 3 percent. But, yeah. you know, it's, it's going to be a tough comparison to begin with no matter what. Uh, what does it mean, though, with respect to Fed policy, where the Fed now has really, uh, you know, they're, they're clinging to this new dovish stance. And yeah. to, the, to the degree that a lot of people on Wall Street think that their next big move will be to lower rates. Right. So <clears throat> we asked economists in this survey. So what we do is that every month after the jobs report comes out, we go out and ask 60 economists at Wall Street investment banks and uh, companies and universities for a range of predictions. And uh, we asked them about the Fed. And what was really interesting in this survey, there were two things. First of all, uh, you know, people are just kind of throwing out the forecasts for interest rate increases any time before September. They think the Fed is on hold, at least until September. But what we also saw was that one in five of these economists were saying that the Fed's next move is not going to be an interest rate increase, but an interest rate decrease. And that's because, you know, the, the two reasons, really, worries about growth slowing down, <laughs> but also the inflation numbers just have not come in at the Fed's 2 percent target. They've been missing it for years, and they softened again in the latest report. So economists think the Fed might have some work to do to keep the economy going at this 2 percent pace. And, you know, the other thing I've got to say is the Fed is very sensitive to risks of a slowdown or recession, because if things go, if things turn south, they don't have a lot of maneuvering room to cut interest rates a lot like they did in the past. So right. they want to avoid a downturn altogether by staying on top of these things and making sure that they're not too tight going into, you know, any kind of slowdown on policy. Well, Wall Street is really thrilled that they've come to that conclusion. John, always great yeah. talking to you. Thank you.